Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how you can use the substring, replace and care index functions in SQL Server. So when you are working with the SQL queries, then sometimes you need to do some kind of string manipulations, okay, uh, to get the data in the desired format. So for those kind of scenarios, we need to use several string functions like uh, left function, right function, replace function, substring, care index, you know, and there are a lot more like lower and upper. So in this particular video tutorial, I will talk about some of the string functions, okay, and probably if needed, then maybe I can create one more video or maybe a couple of more videos on like using the uh, string functions in SQL Server. So without wasting further time, let's jump to the demo. I got a SQL Server instance here and uh, I got a sample data table. So I have this table and in this particular table uh, right now I contains five columns ID, full name, email, gender and the phone number. Now what I want to do that we need to uh, insert this data into the final data table and in the final data table we have the ID column as it is but instead of the full name we got the first name and then we got the last name so what we exactly need to do we need to get the first name from the full name and insert into first name column and then we need to get the last name from the full name column and insert into last name column and then we got the email so the email will be inserted as it is from the source table into the destination table then we got the email provider so for the email provider we will get the value whatever is after the at the rate sign so in from the first record we will get yahoo.co.jp for this record third record we will get cnet.com then from here you will get usa.gov okay and so on and then in the gender we will get only the first character actually the condition is different that uh, for the gender we will insert m if it is male we will insert f if it is female otherwise it should be blank okay and then for the area code, we will get the uh, these three characters 834, 841, 695 for the area code. Okay. And for the phone number, we will get the 10 digits, but we will replace the special characters like the starting bracket, ending bracket, and there is a space in the phone number. So we will remove that particular thing as well. So we have written the six cases here that for the area code. It should be the first three digit from the phone number, the actual digit without the, you know, the special character and the phone number should contain the 10 digit phone number without spaces and without a special character and gender should be M if it is male, it should be F if it is female, otherwise it should be blank. Okay. And email provider should contain value after at the rate sign. First name should contain the first name from full name. Last name should contain the value last name from the full name. So this is what. Uh, we need to get from the sample data table and insert the data into the final table. This is the final table and I think the final table should be empty right now. So I can check this one and maybe the final table does not exist. Yeah, it doesn't exist. So I can create the final table. So now this is empty. Okay. Uh, maybe I can comment out the create table statement. Okay. For now and now we got only this particular table so uh, we need to start writing it so i think we can start from the first point that area code should be first three digit from the phone number so how we can get the uh, first three digit from the phone number so we had several functions several string functions in sql that we can use here so either we can use the substring function or we can use the left function as well so the left function is the one of the simplest function we just need to write left and then we need to give the column name so the column name is phone number here and uh, we need the first three digit okay but there is a special character as well so we can get the four digit okay so let me execute this query okay so it is saying invalid column name oh i think i um, missed the u here okay so here we got the four characters from the phone number but there is a starting bracket as well which we can replace and we can use the replace function to remove the left character from the data so how the replace function works that we can write replace and then we need to provide the column name so this is the column name okay and after this one uh, we need to uh, put the value that we want to replace in the single quote so i want to replace the starting bracket so i can put it here 
and then after this one you can put comma and then you can put two single quotes and whatever value you will put inside the two single quote this starting bracket will be replaced with the new value so i want to replace it with a blank string so i won't put anything here and then we need to close the bracket for the replace function now if you execute this query again so the special character has been removed and this is the area code the first three digit are the area code so this is one of the method that you can get the area code now suppose you can also use the substring function here to get the area code from the phone number like how the substring function works you can write substring and then you need to provide the column name so the column name is the phone number so i can provide the phone number here now you need to provide the position like from which position you want the data from the phone number so at the first position we have the first special character the starting bracket and at the second position we have the actual data so we need to provide the value 2 here and then you need to provide the length like how many characters you want so i want three characters so i can put a value 3 okay and that's it so this is how the substring function works now if i execute the query then it will also get the first three characters from the data you know 834 so this is how it works now suppose if i want the uh, write seven characters so i can use either the write function or i can use the substring function as well suppose if i want the write seven digits so i can write write and the phone number and uh, i can uh, provide the value seven here so it will get the write seven characters from the phone number like six nine one nine this one okay so this is how the write function works in sql server okay and uh, yeah maybe i can leave it as it is here now we got the area code so area code we got in these two columns so you can use any of them okay now uh, we need the phone number should contain 10 digit without spaces and special characters so in this particular column uh, we are getting the phone number and there is a two special character like a starting bracket ending bracket and there is a space as well in the phone number if i paste it here so you can see that there is a space so i do not want the space i do not the special character as well then how i can do that so we can use the replace function actually uh, to replace the unwanted numbers unwanted values so i can actually copy the phone number and then i can replace it replace the starting uh, bracket i can put it in the single quote and then i need to replace it with the blank string okay so so this is the expression or the column and we want to replace the starting bracket with the blank string okay so if i execute this query then this will replace the starting bracket okay uh, from the phone number now i want to replace the ending bracket as well so i need to use the second replace function here i can write replace and after the replace this is the first expression and in the single quotes i can put the ending bracket and i want to replace it with the uh, empty string so i can write like this and now the ending bracket will also be replaced so now you can see that the, both the bracket got replaced but still we got the uh, space in the data so now we need to replace the space as well so how we can remove it we can use the another replace function here and uh, then we can replace the space as well so i can put comma then in the single quote i can put the space comma in the single quote i can put an empty string so this is how the space will also be removed from here so now this is the final phone number that i wanted phone number okay so this is how the replace function works now for the gender it should contain n if it is male f it if it is female otherwise it should be blank so for this particular condition we need to write the case function here like we can get the value of the uh, gender case gender when male then m when female then f else empty string and as gender okay so this is how the case statement works so if i execute this query now then you will get the value like if it is female then the value will be f if it is male then it will be f and if it is something else then it should be blank okay so this is how the gender works so this is how we can get the gender 
now we need to get the email provider it should contain value after at the rate mark okay so here uh, like how we will know that where is the at the rate mark in the data because for substring to work we need to provide the position the starting position like from which position we want the data okay so to get the position there is a care index okay like how care index works it can return you the index the position at which position a particular string is present okay so let me show you like how it works so i can use the care index and we want to get the value of the at the rate okay so we want the at the rate in the email column okay and then this will return you the position of the at the rate in the email so if i execute this one then you can see that for this particular uh, data email the position of the at the rate is 9 for the second one it is 10 and for this one this is also 10 and this one it is 8 okay so this is different for each data now what i need to do i i need to get the data after the this particular position like after the at the rate so i can use a substring function here and how the substring function works that first in the substring first we need to provide the column name or the expression so the column name is the email and now we need to provide the starting position so starting position is this care index so i can use this care index here for the starting position and now how many characters i need i need the data after the at the rate so the it will be like a, a total length of the column minus the care index so how we can get the total length of a field we can use a len function so len function and then in the inside the len function we can provide the column name minus the care index like how many characters we are already getting so i can put like this and then we can end the bracket so let's see like wh what kind of data it will return and then we can just uh, you know change it accordingly so when i'm running this particular query like this so the it is selecting the data from the at the rate sign but we need the data after the at the rate okay i think we can put plus one here because we want the data one character later okay so i can rerun the query and now it is getting the data correctly like yahoo.co.jp then usa.gov okay so this is how the we can use the substring function along with the care index and the len functions okay so here we are getting the provider name now we need to get the first name and the last name from the full name okay so how we can get the first name from the full name so there is a space in the full name so before the space it will be first name and after the space it will be last name so how we can know like at which position it is the space so we can use the care index function again to know at which position there is a space and before the space we can uh, get the data for the first name and after the space we can get the data for the last name so uh, let me use the care index function again that uh, we can instead of the at the rate sign now we need to know the position of the space in the full name so i can write full name here okay and it will show me the uh, position of the space in the full name so you, if you see here um, here the position of the first space is 7 then it is 8 okay so now how i can get the data like how i can get the first name that uh, i can use the substring function okay and i need the data in the substring function first you need to provide the column name okay so or the expression so i can provide the column name here and now i want the data from the first position so i can provide the value one here and then how many characters i need i need the uh, characters until the you know the space so i can use the care index function here okay and let me execute this particular query and see how it works so it seems like it is going to the right side so what i can do i can actually uh, cut this particular thing and i can paste it in the beginning so that it is fully visible okay and i can see it properly so it seems like the first name is coming correctly so this is the first name and uh, i can call it as first name so it is coming correct so let me see if there is any space yeah so the, it seems like there is a you know a trailing space uh, in the uh, first name let me copy this one as well yeah so the, it is uh, selecting the space as well so uh, we need the one uh, character less okay so i can put minus one here and now if i rerun the query 
then I think now it should not contain any space here. Now it is selecting the data correctly. Okay, so this is how you can get the first name. Now we need the last name as well. So how we can get the last name? I can copy the whole query as it is and I can paste it here. Now instead of selecting the data from the first position, we will select the data from the care index position like the position of the uh, you know space okay uh, which you will get using the care index function and then uh, we need the data uh, for the total length of the full name full name minus uh, the care index so i can copy the care index from here and paste it here and this will call as last name so i can call it as last name and now i can read on the query so it seems like we are getting the last name but we are getting a leading space now okay so there is a leading space it means that we should start reading the data after one position so we can add plus one here and then we will start reading the data from there so now it seems like the now the last name is coming exactly you know the way we want so now we got all the column values like we got the first name last name we got the area code so um, so now let me modify the select statement according to the final data table so let me write the insert query here insert into uh, final data and the first column let me select the uh, you know uh, select query from here i can copy it from here and paste it here the first name is id so we can get the id as it is we don't need to do anything in the id now the second column is first name so this is fine the next column is last name so this is the last name then we got the email okay so email we can get as it is now the next column is email provider okay so how we are getting the email provider i think this is how we can got it so i can put the email provider here after the email provider we got the you know the gender so we can get the gender using the case statement so i can paste it here and then after the gender we need the area code okay so how we are getting the area code we just need the first three digits you know from the uh, phone number to get the area code so we can use this one to get the area code i can call this column as area code okay and after the area code we need the phone number okay so i think phone number we can get using this particular query so i can just copy this one and uh, i can actually uh, cut this one and replace this whole query okay so this is the phone number now we don't need these care index columns so i can remove them from here okay and if i run the select statement then i should get all the columns id first name last name email and this is the provider so i can call it as provider uh, email provider and i can rerun the query okay email provider gender area code phone number so this is how we wanted the data so now i can execute this query so all 1000 records got inserted to the final table now so i can select the data now from the final table and all the data got inserted correctly into the final table yeah so i think uh, that's it for today's video and i will share the create table statement for the final data and for the sample data as well i will share the create table statement in insert data query for the sample data so that you can try to write your sql queries by yourself and i think that should help thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much